Are you thinking about buying a tractor? Are you looking for a way to justify that purchase to your significant other? Or perhaps you're looking for a way to justify it to yourself. Hmm. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today, guys, justifying your tractor purchase. And you know what? You guys watching that own a tractor that maybe have already gone through this justification process, give these other folks some help. Leave a comment below. Give them another reason why that's not mentioned here on how you can justify a tractor purchase. And now having the pleasure of owning this tractor dealership does come with a few benefits. So my reasons for justifying owning a tractor or two is, uh, you know, it's business related. Come on, hon, you know, it's just, it, it's just strictly business. You know, I need these tractors to show you guys what it's all about, right? Well, it's worked so far. So one way you can do that is just open up your own tractor dealership. <laughs> So if owning a tractor dealership just isn't in the cards for you, then I'm going to give you a good list here, some reasons, some ways to justify buying that tractor and how it can make a lot of sense for you and save you money in the long run. And on that note, a couple good videos to reference on my channel are going to be the high hour video. You know, what's considered high hours on a tractor? Because I think it'll surprise a lot of you guys, you new tractor owners, with just really how many thousands of hours these tractors can go, you know, with proper maintenance and also reference the reasons why people sell low hour tractors okay because there's a lot of low hour tractors just take a look around you know check out the website too okay there's always low hour tractors on my website even the recently sold listings just to give you a data point and a reference there but you can get into a used tractor with low hours on it and save a huge amount of initial depreciation so buy yourself a low hour tractor i don't know maybe from good works tractors save yourself a whole bunch of money get that recovery, that uh, break even point that much quicker with your machine. Before you forget, make sure you hit subscribe below, read the description as well. A whole bunch of information down there, links to the Amazon store, website, all sorts of good stuff. You know, so having a tractor allows you to do a lot of this work around your house, around your farm, around your hunting property, whatever it is, do it yourself, okay? And that's what a lot of these tasks are gonna be. And this isn't something that you can calculate on just a one year basis, but it's going to be over the entire duration of your ownership of the tractor. Now I've referenced this before, but most homeowners are putting 50 to hundred hours a year. That doesn't mean there's not folks putting 200, 300, 400 hours a year, but let's just call it hundred hours a year that you put on your machine after 20 years, that's just 2000 hours. So this machine is going to last you with care a very, very, very long time. And 2,000 hours is really just kind of getting started, right? These things can go for five, 10,000 hours with that proper maintenance. You could have some major overhauls at some point uh, way down the line there, but let's just say 20 years, guys. So the costs you want to add up when you're going to be purchasing a tractor are going to be obviously the purchase price of the tractor itself. You're going to have some annual maintenance. Typically, it's not going to be that much. You know, maybe just budget a couple hundred bucks. Could be a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on if you're taking it in to have dealers do it or if you're doing it yourself. And of course, as the machine does get older, there's going to be occasional um, unscheduled maintenance that comes up. All right. So whatever machine you're looking at, just kind of put a whole total together over, say, the course of 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, whatever you think the machine is going to last you in your current situation. And at that point, think of all the services that you may pay for or that you could pay for to have your lawn mowed, to have your, uh, your driveway plowed, you know, to have a food plot tilled, to do the landscaping around your yard, to whatever the task might be, okay? Just add all those costs up on an annual basis and multiply it over the same time frame. And now, of course, I want you to remember, keep this in mind, that at the end of that 20, 25, 30 year time frame, you're not sitting on a zero balance, okay? The machine that you have is still worth most likely thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's not like you're just throwing the money away, it's gone for good. When you pay all that money over that course of time, when you're paying for those services, when you're paying to have your lawn mowed, when you're paying to have the driveway plowed, and so on, the leaves collected in the fall, well, that money's just gone. There's no equity there, you know, there's no even appreciation. I've sold many tractors that are 15 years old in that ballpark right there for the same price that they were sold new. 15 years ago, okay? So in fact, I've, I've had them before where I've had the original invoice that they purchased it with when it was traded into me. Isn't that incredible? So I urge you, keep that in mind, okay? When you spend all that money for that tractor over that long duration of time, 
it's not all just gone like it would be if you were paying for services. There's going to be a large amount of that money there that's still, you could sell the tractor when you're done with it and still recover a lot of that cost. So put it all in the right context when you're trying to make that justification. Probably the most common tractor attachment is going to be something right here. The front end loader, okay? And as long as you have a quick attach system on the front end of that loader so you can quickly take on and off a bucket, then you can put something on like a set of pallet forks or like a grapple or like a snow pusher or a bale spear, the list goes on. There's just so many things you can do with a front end loader with that versatility. And of course, you gotta get attachments to add on. So you gotta be able to justify that cost as well. But getting the loader option on there Man, all the work you can accomplish with it, all the things you can do around your house, around your farm, around your property, it's just incredible. The things that you can get done instead of paying somebody else to tackle that service. Those projects that sit there for years and years and you think, I'm gonna get around to it, I just don't feel like doing the manual labor to do it, or I have other areas I wanna spend that money on, you know, and I don't wanna pay for it to get done right now, but I'm gonna get to it someday. You know what, with a tractor, it makes quick work of those kinds of jobs, makes it fun to do. You get it done, you move on to the next one, and you keep that momentum going. Well, now we're in the play area here, the land of the attachments. You know, getting the tractor is just the first step. Once you have it, you'll be amazed all the attachments that you can get for it, all the different kinds of work, the different types of tasks that you can accomplish with it. So in that manner, the same way that you would justify your tractor purchase over the course of time, you can do the same exact thing with an additional attachment. You know, whether that's a rototiller, a snow pusher, a grapple, there's a way to justify it all over the course of time. So if you're like most of us tractor owners, we all want more seat time on our machine. So what better way to do that and to help justify that tractor purchase than to hire yourself out. Take on some side jobs, tilling some gardens, mowing some fields, doing some grading, whatever it might be, right? But that can really shorten the payback of your investment, whether it's on the tractor or say you want to get a new attachment. You know, so it's a common way to justify the purchase of a machine or an attachment. You know, you can get that paid off recuperated really quick by taking on some of those small jobs and then have that tool sitting there for years and years to come just building the big bucks. Now of course none of us have anything around the yard that we need to move from point A to point B. You know whether it's a pile of dirt, a pile of brush, a pile of mulch, a pile of stone, what else? You get the idea right? There's always something to move. You use that front end loader, you get yourself a grapple. Whether it's an electric grapple like this one, one of the brush crushers, if you get a hydraulic grapple, get yourself a set of pallet forks. Get yourself a loader with a bucket on there, okay? Something to move material. That's what we all have lying around at one point or another and we just hate it, right? At least for me, when I have a pile sitting somewhere, I want that thing taken care of, spread out, burned, moved, whatever it is, then, and it just eats at me, you know? So that's one of those things that uh, you can definitely put to work over the course of the years, very cheap, especially, you get a set of pallet forks, holy smokes. The way that you'll justify the, having those things is gonna be incredible. Folks think you just are gonna move pallets around with it. Well, guess what? There's so many other uses. Leave your list below of the things that you use pallet forks for, but they are so handy to have. And I'll tell you, you never hear somebody saying they regret buying a grapple either. It's an awesome attachment to have. They're just so handy to have around and at your disposal when you need it. Use it to your advantage. Use it at your convenience. Use it to help out others. Whatever you might do, there's a lot of ways to justify a purchase like that. You know, who would have thought a tractor can make snow removal so much fun? Whether you get something like a front-mounted snow blower, a loader-mounted snow pusher, a frame-mounted snow plow, or a loader-mounted snow plow, like these guys here, or even a three-point mounted pull type snowblower like this one here. There's so many ways to remove the snow, make it an easy, efficient process for you where you'll never want to pay somebody else to do it again. Now, if you want to talk about one of the funnest ways that I spend time on my tractor, it's whenever I get to use my rototiller. It's one of those things you really only get to use a couple times a year for the most part. In the spring when you want to till up a gardener, in the fall when you're putting in food plots or something along those lines. So this is a perfect example of a tool where you can use and get a really good payback because it kind of pains you to see it sitting around for most of the time not getting used. So if you can put a little ad on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or just get the word of mouth out there and tackle some gardens in the spring and in the fall, it'll pay for itself in no time. One of the other ways you can justify the purchase of a tiller 
is for grading purposes, believe it or not. You can really loosen up that soil just like you need to, and then use another tool to go ahead and smooth it out in the way that you want. Well, would you look at that? We have a couple grading tools right here to help you smooth everything out just like you need after you're done tilling it up. You get a grader blade like this for the back of your tractor. These are relatively cheap. Same thing with these box blades right here that do a really good job also ripping up hard pan, ripping up rock, that kind of thing, and then allowing you to move that material where you want and smooth it all out. Great tools, easy to get payback on it over the years. They're just hunks of steel. There's really not a lot that's gonna go wrong with them. Another way to justify your tractor purchase is simply based on convenience. You know, when you get a free weekend, you get a free evening, some block of time opens up unexpectedly where you could get a job done, say a landscaping project or whatever it is around the house, a honeydew list item, you know? If you have the machine there to be able to tackle the job at that point, obviously it's gonna get done and it's gonna make, I don't know, somebody a little bit happier. And it could be an easy way for you to justify having that tractor sitting around, that way you can tackle those projects on the honeydew list. You know, because whether you're paying to go rent a piece of equipment, whether you go pick it up or you pay extra to have it dropped off and then picked back up from you, or you're paying a landscape company or a mowing company, whatever it might be to come in, it's not going to happen right then when you want it to happen. It's going to happen on their schedule, when they have availability, whether it's with the equipment or with the personnel to get out there and tackle the job. It's going to slow the whole thing down. And if you have a long list of things coming up to do, whether it's over the course of the summer or over the course of the next five years, you know, having that machine sitting there ready to go when you need it is a big selling point. One of the most common ways that you can utilize your tractor is with a mower deck. You can tackle mowing your own lawn all spring, summer, and fall, and you can take care of those leaves too. Get a bagger system on here, take care of the spring cleanup, the fall cleanup, everything else. Just think about spring and fall cleanup by themselves and all the leaves, all the time blowing around, the labor you would either spend yourself or paying somebody else. Whether you have to haul them away or not, if you can bag them up and put them by the curb or bag them up and burn them or bag them up and throw them in the woods. You know, just think of how every year, you know, you can just mow once a week in the spring and the fall with a bagger system, a material collection system, and knock that out on a weekly basis while you're mowing. Oh man, that'll pay for itself very quickly. Of course, the mower deck itself, 20 years of mowing, and of course, you're probably going to have some maintenance on there too, you know, replacing blades on occasion, probably some spindles. You know, probably a deck rebuild in there if you're mowing acres a week. But over the course of time, it's going to pay for itself. Well, hopefully that was enough ammo for you to justify making a tractor purchase. But if not, never fear. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of comments below to help you out as well. I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to stop by and watch. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that subscribe button below. Don't forget to read the description as well. A lot of helpful links in there to the Amazon store, to my website as well. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.